Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. I'm just by myself today. But some of you have asked me about this keto fried chicken recipe. So I thought today would be perfect to do a keto cooking mukbang for you guys. And I'm also going to watch my own stand-up comedy of the first time I tried it. That was back in 2013. Without further ado, let's cook. So cooking fried chicken is so easy. If you have an air fryer, prep my chicken thighs. I just cut the bones down so now it become boneless chicken thighs. Uh, I am just going to mix it and marinate it before I put it with pork rinds. This is pretty much the replacement of flour or some kind of fried ingredients that you guys use. So first thing first, I'm going to mix all these ingredients inside of my chicken thighs. Is there any measurements for this? No, because I am doing a very lazy and maybe dirty keto. If you guys don't know what that means, lazy keto means you're not uh, measuring out your macros when you're eating. Dirty keto is just the opposite of clean keto. So you're just eating processed food that labeled as keto, but not very clean. Anyways, so um, I always use this barbecue seasoning, okay? So as long as it doesn't have sugar, I think it's keto friendly, okay? This, uh, what is it called? The butt rub. I love the name. Any measurement? However you like it. Uh, I like to put a lot of garlic uh, powder. Uh, dry onion and pepper. You know why I don't put any salt? Because the butt rub actually have salt in it. I always put the nutritional yeast seasoning. If you are on keto, you'll know that you definitely need to consume B12. So this is the perfect way to do a replacement. And soy sauce. It's called liquid aminos. Sort of like a soy sauce alternative. Quite salty, so um, don't put too much. Now you just mix it. I do one side first, and then I'm just going to flip over it because I might do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay. As you all know, because I'm very lazy, so I'm just going to put the egg right into it. Sometimes it's a lot easier if you actually uh, beat it first. So just mix it. Because the egg has this stickiness to it, so later on when you do the pork rinds, um, it will be a lot easier to stick on there. Ooh, look at it. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Now we can put this on the side. The egg looks so ugly. You can do a lot of different steps with the fried chicken and makes it very, very nice and delicious. But since Tom is very lazy, I'm just gonna lay it on my tray so I can just put in the air fryer and then voila. You might ask how much I need to put the pork rinds. As much as you want. Nobody's judging you. So this is like the breadcrumb uh, replacement. And as keto, you need to eat 75% of fat. So look at this. Ooh. Mmm. Normally, people would want to layer twice. So you would dip it in the breadcrumb first and then dip it in the egg again put another layer of breadcrumbs on top so that gives you a very nice breading for the fried chicken anyway i won't bore you more with my cooking so let's jump to my next part choo choo voila well it only took me about what 15 minutes to make this fried chicken so it's not that hard and of course i need some veggies because just so you know keto is not all about protein before we start with my comedy bits let's eat first Ooh! i hope you can hear the sound of it 
It's so crispy. Too bad, Sandy, that you're not with me right now. You will love this. Mmm. Mmm. What do you guys think if I do more of this cooking before I eat type of thing? Will you watch it? Leave comment down below. Mm. Well, I think it's a six minute set, so let's just get right into it. This is the first time I did it. Um, I was taking a stand up comedy class and they, they filmed our final. Note this I still have my cards at that time because they say we are allowed to use flashcards. So, and it was the first time I was doing some new bits. So, let's watch. Keep it going right now, this guy is fucking Asian. He's so Asian, his name is Tom Chow. Okay, first, I don't know if you can say that anymore nowadays, but this MC was kind of funny, um, I have to say. I don't remember because that this was back in 2013, so it was seven years ago when I did the first stand-up comedy. Let's hear it, Tom Chow! That's messed up, right? Oh, thank you, everybody. It is very honored to be here. I'm here to get some jobs. So, please out. Thank you. Typical mistake number one. All Asians are great at math. That's so not true. You can have four or five lanes on the freeway and we can only see one. Don't sue me. Number two. We all hard working. I'm trying to be an actor, a stand-up comedian. A tarot card reader. <laughs> My mom would be so proud of me. I know that none of them are real Japs. I don't think that's how my mom talks. Number but, three. Okay. Asians are very polite. What you Americans don't know is that when we nod our head and smile, it's when we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and the gesture. gesture is pretty much the Asian version of giving you the finger. <laughs> well, a little bit about myself. I graduated from UC Irvine, or as I love to call it, thank you, thank you, the Im University of Chinese Immigrants. <laughs> so then I thought our mascots should have been Hello Kitty. <laughs> Hello Kitty always gets me. My mom still wear Hello Kitty stuff. I mean, I told my mom, Mom is so for, for kids, for young people. And she said, You shut up. Hello Kitty is as old as me. And that is Forever 21. <laughs> I know I was not very good with math when my mom used to hit me with an abacus. Do you guys know what an abacus is? I mean, this was kind of a far-fetched joke for me. But I'm going to put a picture over here, just so you know. And she will always say, let me knock some numbers into you. <laughs> well, that never worked. <laughs> Another thing about myself, um, I'm gay. Thank you. 
You guys might not understand what I meant.、Um, before me, there was this girl who did the bits. Are constantly doing this, like okay or something like that. If I remember it correctly, when you do stand up, like whoever is before you, you kind of have to poke fun with it a little. So that's why people were laughing, not the gesture that was be-、uh, that was funny. Now we are gay. I am actually a top. Okay, okay. I don't mean sitting on top. Get it right, guys. Get it right. Uh, well, but, you know, I have a Mexican boyfriend. Oh, I love him. I just love him. You know, like I, I would tell him like, oh, give me some of your burritos, <laughs> and he would turn to me and say, oh, give me some of your spring roll. <laughs> At this point, I'm really turned off. <laughs> I mean, come on, a spring roll is an appetizer. <laughs> Really? Come on. I mean, you know, my girls are kind of dirty. So I love my boyfriend, especially this is the comeback, by the way. When when we cuddle, when we cuddle, he's like the avocado in my egg roll. You know, and when we have sex, I shoot my rice in his burrito. Ew! I hope you feel your eating during this time. I love to gamble, though, especially poker. I mean, I enjoy the bluffing and then the guessing, and that's why I'm a tarot card reader. <laughs> my accent covers my bullshit. I mean, tarot card reading all the time, and you make it very authentic. The Knight of the Cup. Oh, it's a sign you'll get humped by your prince ugly, and you don't come. <laughs> well, just so you know, don't piss off a fortune teller because it only gives me more reason to lie. Thank you very much. <laughs> And this ended my stand-up career. It was very stressful at that time when I did my stand-up. The constant fear of people not laughing. Even when I was watching this, remember that last two bits I did? Oh my God, it was dead. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Not that I'm going to do another stand-up comedy bit, but we're just having some interaction over here since my sister is not here. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and made it to this point. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my update. By the way, if you happen to make your own keto fried chicken, please tag me on my Instagram, Real Tom Chu, and I'll see you next time. Bye.